welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome I'm so glad to have you here don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join the family today I'm going to be sharing with you all what I am putting in my girls Easter basket this year so I have lots of goodies here I've kind of just been keeping them stashed away so I have things all tied up in bags that I've just been like trying to put away trying to keep them on a low so that my girls don't see them but today I'm gonna to be sharing all the goodies that I have in mind for their basket we are not gonna be using a traditional Easter basket this year wanted to put a little fun spin on it so this year I'm gonna be using kid size umbrella as their Easter basket and I thought it would be really cute to include some rain boots so I got both of them rain boots along with their umbrella because of course as spring is in the air April showers bring May flowers so I thought it would be perfect to get a new umbrella and a new pair of rain boots it just goes with the season right so I did get majority of this stuff if not all of it from Target so without further ado let's just jump into this video I'm gonna turn the camera around and just give you guys a glimpse on what I have and what all I plan on putting in their Easter basket so first things first I of course have some Easter books so I have happy Easter mouse I have Pout Pout Fish Easter Surprise and I have There Was An Old Lady Who Swallowed A Chick. It's getting kind of challenging on the books because every year they get Easter books. So their Easter book collection is already pretty established so it's kind of hard to pick books that they don't already have. So these are three that I picked up. I also get them these almost every year which is these hollow milk chocolate bunnies these are by the Russell Stouffer and they're really cute what I like to do is I put them in their Easter basket and then on Easter morning I will cut off the ears and since they're hollow I fill them with milk I dip them in chocolate and add some festive sprinkles I put milk in there and then we put a cute little straw I'm gonna pop up a video somewhere over here so you can guys can see what I'm talking about because I do that almost every year and it's a real hit the girls love it and they look forward to to it. Also got the girls some really cute new swimsuits. So this one is going to be for Tatiana and this one is for Ava. I like to get them the long sleeves. In summer we are constantly going to the pool and to the beach. I usually get them one sleeveless and one with sleeves just to protect them because when the summer we do spend a lot of time in the water and it can get a little bit overbearing for their skin. So I like to keep the rash guard just to protect them a little bit. So I did get them each a new bathing suit. And then I got Tatiana some new goggles. She's been asking for some goggles. So I thought that was perfect to go with her new bathing suit. So I think this stuff came from Hobby Lobby. And I just got them this little mermaid splash and go. It's like a pool toy. So I've got one for each of them. And then I also got these cute Easter carrot bubbles. Always love bubbles. Bubbles are always fun. Some of this stuff I forgot what's even in here because like I said, I've just been stashing it away. Oh yeah. So we got some egg chalk, one for each. Of course, if I don't, it's always gonna be fighting. And then I got these little chocolate carrots to put in there as well. Also got them a set of some pajamas and these are cute, cute really cute. They just have some Easter bunnies on them. So we will be putting those in there as well. Also got them both an Easter dress so I got Ava a pink one and I have Tatiana a yellow one yellow one from for Tatiana and a pink one for Ava so now that I have showed you everything that I have for the baskets I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna put it together really quick in their umbrella I'm gonna be using some of this little grass filler this is a basket from a few years ago that I used for Tatiana but I figured it would be fun to use the umbrellas this year and that way they can also be useful after Easter is done and over because we really don't have any other use for the baskets once the holiday is done. So I figured with the umbrella they could actually get some use out of it. So we're going to go ahead and put, um, put it together. Didn't really go crazy this year for Easter. I might add um, one or two more things, maybe like some crop. I still need to get Ava some goggles because I know Tatjana asked for the one that covers her nose but Ava doesn't want this style. She just wants the regular one and I didn't see any the day that I was out so I'm gonna also get her some goggles and maybe like a new life jacket life vest Tatiana doesn't need it but Ava still uses hers and that's pretty much it stuff for spring 
there's lots of different options that can go in here i don't like to really add a whole bunch of candy or snacks so it's a lot of just books and markers crowns stuff they can use for the beach and the pool so we're gonna go ahead and jump in getting this put together i do have these mini bunnies i've had these for a few years the girls have already received these from a past easter but i'm thinking that i'm gonna go ahead and just add it into the basket as well because they really do still love these and they've been playing with them since i pulled them out of storage so i think i'm gonna add them to the umbrella as well <music> love this umbrella with the rainbow on the side it's super cute and it's clear super cute I'm gonna work with this one first so I'm just gonna add some of my grass I'm very happy with the turnout. So this is how they are looking. 
That's Tatiana. And I put the little carrot with some grass and her rain boot. And this is Ava. So I'm going to get Ava one more book to go on this side. Just how I did Tatiana. So we got her pajamas here and her bathing suit. And I'm going to add one more book on this like I did on Tatiana's. I'm going to have to look on Amazon and see what options there are. But this is the finished product, you guys. Very happy with the turnout. I think the girls are going to be very excited to receive these baskets. Really loving the turnout. Super cute. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here you guys. So thanks for hanging out with me today and putting together these Easter basket for my girl. This is very exciting because spring is in the air. I'm very excited for spring and summer. We definitely love those seasons. We love all the seasons, but we definitely love spring and summer because we love to be outdoors. We love to go swimming, go to the beach and do all those fun things. So this is a sure sign that we are moving into the next season and the girls are gonna be so excited with their Easter basket. I'm very happy with the turnout. I love the little fun spin that we are putting on them this year. Hopefully you guys got some ideas from this video. And let me know down in the comments if you prefer to customize your children's Easter baskets and put them together yourself or if you prefer to just buy an Easter basket that is already assembled. I really enjoy customizing them for my girls. As you can see, I have done this for them since they were born. <laughs> but these were a lot of good alternatives to candy. I didn't put a lot of candy in there. And the one chocolate bunny that I do have in here like I mentioned before I will be cutting the ears off before and making this into a drink that's very fun very cute idea the girls love it it's a hit in this house and we do it every year don't forget to look for the milk chocolate bunny that is hollow inside so there's nothing in here and we will fill this up with milk but don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up you guys and meet me down in the comment section below subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the next one